All right, you know that ABC7 Culinary Director Judy Gallagher has been getting us ready for Thanksgiving. Let's see what she's planning for us today. Hi, Judy. Hi there, Scott. Well, we have a couple things planned for today. It's time if you're roasting the turkey to order it now. Even if you're ordering a turkey that's already cooked and you can tune in today at 4 o'clock and watch the Suncoast View, we have some great suggestions for you on where to shop and what to get delivered and where to dine. But one of the things I want to talk to you about was a bone-in turkey breast. Especially if you're a small group, if you're just two or three people, I love to have a bone-in turkey breast. Now I'll have the big smoked turkey from all days, but then I'm going to roast just a small bone-in turkey breast. The key is how you season it, and we're gonna do a dry brine for 48 hours. I'll talk about that in a minute. And today we're making a pear cranberry rustic tart. And it's my favorite thing to make because I'm terrible at pie crust. So I can use a store-bought Pillsbury pie crust and whip up this delicious tart. And of course, I always have my little simple ideas like a jar of caramel apple butter that will go on top. So stay with me throughout the hour. I've got you covered on Thanksgiving from turkey to dessert. All right, let's get back to the kitchen and check in again with Judy Gallagher, getting us ready for Thanksgiving. Judy. That's right. So if you're going to be doing a dry brine, which basically means exactly what it says, you're using dry ingredients, you're not using li liquid, it saves a lot of room in your refrigerator because a full submersion of the brine, which I'll be doing on Monday, it's going to take up a lot of room if you don't have an extra fridge. So for this stuffed turkey, turkey breast. Look at this. I'm going to rub the cavity. I do a combination of paprika, garlic salt, or different garlic seasonings, and a lot of Bell's poultry seasoning, my favorite. So you're going to put that all together in a bowl, and then what I want you to do is pat the turkey really dry, fresh ground black pepper. I've stuck a few small apples, sage, rosemary, and thyme in the cavity. Butter it upside down for half an hour, turn it right side up, it's already seasoned, little more butter, baste, cover it with aluminum foil, and usually about an eight to 10 pound bone-in turkey breast is gonna take about two to two and a half hours. Okay, so that part's done. You want a simple dessert, and you don't want to have to make the pie crust, I just get one of these rollouts. Pillsbury is my preference, but you can use whatever you want, and there are some gluten-free options out there as well. So, I've taken the equivalent of five pears, peeled, it's okay if there's a teeny bit of skin left. And what I'm gonna do is, I always have a packet in my sugar side of my pantry that has cinnamon and sugar mixed all ready together, because that's just gonna, one less step of getting your hands dirty, and you just, you'll use it all through the baking season. And then I'm gonna take whole fresh cranberries. You know, I'm like a little kid at a candy store at the fresh market because they have those candy they have those cranberry bogs. I like to kind of scoop in that water, just like New England when you're in the Cape. Okay, so we're gonna to toss that and then we're gonna put it in the crust. I'll show you how to brush the crust and season it, and we will get it started for a great Thanksgiving and a quick dessert that you'll like. Okay, so the turkey by now, if this is Thanksgiving Day, is in the oven. What you can do is you can get your tart ready, put it in the refrigerator, and then when you sit down for Thanksgiving, you can go ahead and bake this, because it's gonna take about 40 minutes. Parchment paper, I spray the pan, lay the parchment, spray more food spray on it, and then I just take that pie crust and I pat it out a little bit, and what I love is the word rustic. Rustic, in other words, means it's okay to make a mistake. It doesn't have to be perfect. But you can almost kind of stretch out the pie crust with your hands. You leave it out on the counter for about 20 minutes and you're fine. And then you can go around and you can pinch it a little bit. But the key is that it's really easy. It's very non-stressful. Now there's so many things. You could add zest of orange. You could add a little crystallized ginger, which you know is a big flavor that I love to use, but I'm using that for my pumpkin cream dessert. So there we have it. Now I found, you know me, I always find something. At the, at the fresh market, I found the caramel apple butter. So do a little bit on top. The sliced pears and the cranberries already have the cinnamon sugar. So now we're gonna take a little butter and brush these edges. Some people like to brush egg, beaten egg on the sides. I like to use the butter because I feel like it gives a more flaky texture to it. 
This is going to go in a 350 degree oven and I just kind of drizzle the butter there. Now, a quick tip, if you're using butter, which I hope you are in your turkey, you have to be really careful. I don't want you to use butter that's right out of a hot pan or out of the microwave because that's that danger zone that we have to be careful of. We have the turkey, it's cold, it's going in the oven, and then just to pour the hot butter on it, then it has to get up to temperature in a 325 oven. So it's better to just have soft butter for your turkey, put your gloves on, tuck butter under the skin too, it makes it so succulent. And then you have your tart. So the tart goes in the oven, like I said, about 35, 40 minutes. And just check it a couple times. I turn the pan twice while it's in there, just so I make sure that it's regulated. And see what I mean? Of course, you can make it the night before, but it's so easy when everything is out of the oven. And there you have it. Here's the tart. Now, I have some cinnamon sugar. You can sprinkle that on. And then, just take your knife and cut where the parchment paper is. And you can cut the parchment paper away. How easy is that? So when you lift it, it's going to be easier when you put on a plate. So when I come back, I think it's time for John Scalzi to get a bite. And I'll certainly save it just to taste for, for Scott Dennis as well. We'll be back to wrap up our Thanksgiving cooking in just a few minutes. I'm just eating it all up because it is so good. <laughs> this is delicious. Thanks. And oh it's, my gosh. it's pretty easy using a roll-out crust, very rustic, which is mm. what I like. And I think that that um, apple caramel butter on top just Lovely. adds that little splash of sweetness, right? Absolutely does. So you've got uh, something special coming up on Thanksgiving Day here. I right? will be here. I am your honorary Turkey 911 person. I'll be here with my friend Chef Evan from mm. the cottage. We'll be showing you how to carve your turkey, last minute things, everything you need from from 6 to 7 a.m. And then I'll be on Facebook Live for ABC from 7 to 7.30. So I'm here for you folks. It's good stuff because no matter how good and seasoned you are at Thanksgiving, something always goes wrong. I, something listen, always folks, goes wrong. I've started the fire in my own oven, so <laughs> we'll get you through it, I promise. All right, so don't forget that. Uh, again, the recipe on our uh, website, mysuncoast.com. Click on the dining link page. Scott?